What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we explored Orbrook City and got a few new Pokemon. Off screen, you guys already know, we finished off with, uh, you know, capturing another Pokemon for our team. Now the time is to reveal the nickname, and I kind of got an inspiration off of, you know, another show. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Rosemon. <laughs> That's the other Mon right here. So I'm thinking that, you know, in this one right here, I'm probably just going to be calling them the Mons. I don't know. I don't really care what you guys say. It's going to happen. Anywho, here we have Badoo at level 8. I captured it at level 4. It is both grass and poison type. Now, the only reason I caught this guy, too, is because I am intrigued. I want to use this Pokemon for its extra evolution. So that's, that's just another thing that just, you know, it's catching my mind right here. Now, it does have an adamant nature, kind of screws us over a little bit on the special type attack, but there it is, loves the spiky, uh, spicy few, uh, fu uh, food, and uh, it does have the natural cure, all status conditions will heal the, when the Pokemon, when it switches out, so that's just another thing right there, and it already has the moves that I kind of need for it, like Absorb, Growth, uh, growth Stun Sport, and Worry Seed. Now, some of these Pokemon are for backup. Infernomon can take care of itself, but like uh, my goal is to try and use that power up punch as often as possible to get, you know, to get a one hit KO and all that stuff. Muscles and Rosemon obviously are there for just backup support and all that stuff, but just in case something were to happen, I'm going to give this quick claw to Rosemon because it's not going to be the fastest Pokemon out there just yet. So, anywho, let's go ahead and start battling. We need to get badges. Let's go. Okay, would you look at that, there he is, acting all smug and everything, ready to get his butt kicked, and the only man who has ever, ever appreciated us, he's right here, he's like, howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said, I was, uh, or that's what I said to the really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak against grass-type moves, gee. They sure have weaknesses, but don't think they'll be easy. You don't get the you don't get to be the gym, gym leader without covering y'all for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Well, gee, thanks. I needed that. Anywho, let's go right ahead and just start battling these people. So you avoided the long way around. Uh, let's see why you did that. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't avoid it, I just didn't want to like, I didn't want to push out or anything like that. Anywho, let's go, we're going to be going up against Jonathan and his Geodude. Now, my biggest thing is, we need to increase the attack power of, uh, of Infernomon when it comes to multiple Pokemon on an another team. I did teach him Rock Smash a few episodes ago, and it does lower some, uh, some defenses right there, but you guys got to know, Rock type Pokemon, they're difficult. They have that they have that defense. So let's go straight up for a power up punch right here. Power up punch does its thing and it will increase my attack. And well, let's see what happens next. Here comes a tackle attack. And well, let's go one more tackle or power up punch for the win. And there goes Geodude. Oh yes. Oh yes. You have been defeated, my son. Okay, so everybody grows levels right here, including Hydra, and, well, let's see, I think that's pretty much it right there. Now, one thing, too, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take advantage of is, uh, we gotta make sure to heal up our Pokemon every single time, because, you know, your strategy could, oh, wow, ha, <laughs> I didn't realize that, <laughs> Infernomon is evolving, I didn't see that, guys, I seriously didn't, so there it is, guys, we have Infernomon evolving into the next stage of his evolution, and yes, he does get the fighting type capability, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, and look at him, he's ready to go. So here we have Monferno. I should probably call him Monferno Mon or something. So here is Monferno, and uh, yes, he does get the fighting capability. To intimidate attackers, it expands the fire of its tail to make itself appear bigger. It's a good strategy. Very good strategy. Monfernomon is trying to learn Mod Punch. <laughs> okay, well that... Okay, my strategy changes automatically. Uh, you know what? Let's go right ahead and take away Taunt. 
I know three fighting type moves on one in one move set that that's just it's move but trust me guys I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing alrighty okay so like I was saying make sure to get your healing items all right because uh, yeah your strategy could depend on just this one Pokemon right here now let's go right ahead and test uh test our good old buddy Monferno or Inferno Mon there we go let's get it let's go time to destroy Darius so he's ha he has two Pokemon right here and this could be this could be the test uh, for what I was trying to do right here we do have power up punch it does increase every single time look at Monferno Mon he's about to go destroy him and bam I could call him Monferno Mon but shoot I think it, it wouldn't fit so there it is it increases its, at its attack here comes an attack or attack. I think these uh, rock type Pokemon also have sturdy, so one hit KOs might not do the trick. And there you go. Monferno. Or Inferno Mon destroys them. Okay, alright. Look at that. And uh, Rosemon has uh, grown to level 9, which is great too. And it's coming out with an Onyx. So let's continue right here. Let's go. You can do this. Power up punch for the win. Bam! And just like that, a strategy is fulfilled. Now, right here, we're just going to evolve Pokemon now. And look at that. Muscles has grown levels. Again, backup. He is backup for what's to come right here. And there it is, guys. We have defeated our next opponent. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, heal up Monferno Mon. I could call him Monferno Mon. Shoot. That's probably a good name. Inferno Mon, Monferno Mon. But then, then it evolves into, let's see, Infernape. Infernape Mon. This is why I call it Infernape. <laughs> Inferno or Inferno Mon or something. I'm so confused, guys. Okay, so here it is, the gym leader himself. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of your Pokemon with uh, that battle with you. Okay. Here we go, guys. We are facing Rourke himself. Bring it on. And, uh, well, look at that. He, he's got his light on and everything. He's throwing out his first Pokemon. And that is Geodude. Okay. So like I said, guys, the strategy is power-up punch. For the win, every single time. Here comes a power up punch. And uh, that one takes a good hit. Oh, yes, okay, bring it on. And yes, I do have my other Pokemon just for this occasion. And crap baskets, I forgot about that. Okay, so now we're racing against time because it gets his rollout attack gets powerful. But look at this. Yeah, that's right. His tail has gotten uh, a little bit more flamier because, uh, yeah, we're trying to scare this guy off. And. Look at this, my Pokemon are growing levels like crazy, Ultra Psycho as well. And well, he's about to use an Onyx. I am going to continue on right here with our good old buddy, Monferno Mon. And well, let's go ahead and use an, a Power Up Punch. And this one almost takes him out, but this right here could be the final blow. And Onyx is gonna be throwing a rock at us. Not so strong after all, so here we go. Time to finish him off. Power up punch for the win. Say goodbye to Onyx. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Get it. Okay. And look at that. Level 15 and the rest of the Pokemon are just getting fed. And he's about to use Cran Cranny Dose. Completely forgot about that Pokemon. So here we go. I think you could take down the next or the next Pokemon. Okay. Cranny Dose right here is a, uh, it, it's a, it's a very, very strong physical Pokemon, so we really gotta hit him with the power up punch, and here it comes, one hit, KO, I'm throwing up the middle finger, that's right, we won, eat it, and yes, our Pokemon growing levels again, Rosemon is benefiting from this whole, you know, being a low level Pokemon, and yeah, Muscles, and <laughs> holy crud, and Muscles wants to learn low sweep, well, you know, for being a loyal Pokemon, might as well just give it to him. So low sweep, the user makes a swift attack to the target's legs, which lowers the target's speed stat. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay. Alrighty. 
All right, okay, look at that, all right. And we have defeated Ward for our very first gym battle. And, uh, well, he's not looking so happy right now. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't even have a single badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That, oh, that, oh, there is. Huh. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have gi I have to give you their gym badge since you beat me, the gym leader. Here's your first official league badge. And there it is, guys. Bam! Yes, we got our first full badge. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's right. We're feeling a little bit heavier because of that shit. Oh, yes. Okay. Having the gold badge means that you can, you, you can now use a hidden move Rock Smash from your Pokétech. You should also take these, too. And we will be getting some TM76s. I do believe that when you defeat a gym leader, he will give you five TMs instead of three. So each TM76 uh, contains the, the move Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on your opponents with, that switch into battle. And these are the stickers I used to Here, take some. And we got some stickers. That way we can decorate our Pokeballs and all that stuff. Incidentally, a TM will teach its move to uh, a move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it. So be certain that you uh, you want a Pokemon to learn a move. Yeah, he's trying to make an emphasis that you know, here in this generation, yeah, it doesn't work. I'll be right back with you. Anywho, guys, my bad. I got a phone call. That was pretty much it right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this badge right here. Okay, so after defeating Bork, you can actually press, uh, press the Y button right here and look at this. Look at that. We got our first badge and everything, and I don't... How do you... How do you... Okay, so you can still polish this thing, but I think you can polish it if you touch the screen, which is basically it, but... I, don't know, I think we're going to be doing that. Now, remember, if you guys... Uh, if you guys remember when I was playing Pokemon Platinum, that's how I figured it out, that you can actually make... The, like, you can actually touch the, the badges to actually polish these things right here. So, that is pretty much it right there, guys. We finally got it. We finally got our first badge, and, well... The world is an oyster, I think. It's going to open up just a little bit. Now, there are a lot more things that we have to discover, especially now that we're playing the remakes and stuff. So we're going to stop right here in the next episode. We're going to be going back to Jubilife City and then going up north and seeing what the world uh, of Pokemon right here in Sinnoh has in store for us. So again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe right here down on the bottom button. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. See you guys.